Hi, I am Dr. Tarandeep Singh Gil. Today I will be discussing uh, briefly about hip osteoarthritis secondary to a vascular necrosis of the femur head. So the hip joint is made up of two parts, uh, the socket and the ball. It is a ball and socket joint. The ball part is known as the femur head and the socket is known as the estabulum. So the ball fits inside the socket and it moves like this when we walk or when we sit down or when we run. So ends of both these parts, the ball and the socket is covered by a very smooth cartilage uh, shown here in blue. So what happens in a vascular necrosis of the femur head, the blood supply to the femur head or the ball is lost because of certain reason and it results in destruction of the cartilage and the bone and it leads to the surface becoming very rough and over a uh, over period of few years when this rough surface keeps rubbing against the socket it results in osteoarthritis of the hip joint. This is a very painful condition. Patients suffering from uh, hip arthritis uh, usually uh, find it very difficult uh, to walk around, to climb stairs, to do their activities of daily living. Such patients with severe hip arthritis benefit tremendously if they undergo uh, total hip replacement surgery. So in this hip replacement surgery, we uh, basically change both the damaged parts of the hip joint, the ball as well as the socket. So we change the damaged ball part, we put a stem inside the femur bone and we change the socket as well, the estabulum which is damaged. And it, it again results in a seamless movement of the hip joint and painless. severe pain, uh, both his hip joints had severe arthritis secondary to a vascular necrosis. He wasn't even able to uh, walk a few steps without any support, he used to use a walker. Uh, and he underwent uh, total hip replacement surgery on both the sides and now uh, he has recovered uh, very well. He is able to do his activity of daily living, he is able to walk, he is able to climb stairs, he is even able to uh, ride a bike. Uh, 